Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time on YouTube.com. That's right, moving on up. You're watching, yo, is this vegan? Well, the answer is always yes, and the snacks are always fresh. And by fresh, I mean, you know, frozen. Man. You see, back when I invented veganism in the early 2000s, you couldn't just go down to the local Cloud 9 down the street and have America Ferrera hand you a dairy-free pizza pie. You had to eat vegetables. Ugh. But now there are literally hundreds of thousands of specialty products made just for vegan diets, and I intend to try all of them. So just sit back, relax, and I'll tell you what you think. Today, we'll be reviewing the Daya Frozen Burritos. We'll be trying the Tuscan Burrito, the Santiago Burrito, and the Santa Fe Burrito. Now with me, as always, is my colleague and lifetime eater, Mailman Mike. Say hello to the people, Michael. What's going on? A little more than 10 years ago, probably in like 06, 07, Daya came to prominence with one of the first like meltable vegan cheeses. And back then, you would have been incorrectly under the assumption, under the assumption, <laughs> the, the unsumption is right, because you would have been under the assumption that it was good, but it was not. But we've come a long way, baby. In fact, we've come a long way all the way to the frozen burrito section, and apparently all the way to Tuscany, Italy, the birthplace of the burrito. Before we get to the actual food, let's talk about what we'll be eating off of. Uh, Michael, tell me a little bit about the plate. I got a wanna snuggle porcupine plate, or uh, a bear having a very bad hair day, maybe it's humid. What I got is the heart-shaped cool as a crocodile. Now you can't quite tell with this crocodile, he's in love, uh, as most are. Of course, the universal symbol for love and Valentine's Day, the crocodile. I'm um, looking at the back of this plate here, it says made for retail. Was there another situation that uh, plates would be made for? Well, if it's made for retail, then the other option I'm thinking is resell, okay? The underground plastic plate market. You've seen Breaking Bad. You know how this stuff goes. They import it over the border, over from Tuscany, you know. We don't know. What we're going to start off with is actually the Tuscan burrito. Um, now let's go ahead and get our silver on. Now the uh, highlights, if you will. Oh, bad form with the butter knife. Oh, and the steak knife. Meatless beef style crumbles, sun-dried tomatoes, and mozzarella style shreds. Now, you know me. I love a good tomato that's been sunbathing. Me too. Um, you know, but if it's been spray tanning, that's just as good as well. And no foreplay, right? Okay. Now, I don't typically like vegan food, so this is going to be a journey. Alright. I taste the... The sun. <clears throat> I mean, vitamin D right off the bat. Definitely tasting those mozzarella style shreds. If, That's Italian. If I said Italy on an edible plate, this is it. This is what I'm thinking. I wouldn't call them sliders. What would you call like a slider burrito? Like a, a slipper? A sl yeah, yeah, a slipper. I don't know that they have slip and slides in Mexico, but. Well, they better get them soon, if you know what I mean. Stop using ours. Typically, I'm a single bite kind of guy. Like, let's. Hey, where's the beef? No. This is pretty good. Now, Santiago, of course, Michael, the capital of Chile. Uh, you ever been to a Chile's? I have not. I've been to Applebee's. Okay. And uh, I imagine it's uh, very similar to Chile. It's a similar uh, burrito experience, I'll tell you that. This one's going to have a red quinoa, black bean, and a sweet potato. Huh. Goes with our love theme. Those potatoes are too sweet. All right. Now, you can see, maybe you can't see, but you should be able to see that bright orange. That's good because that's fresh. That's organic. I want to take the nose trip first. Okay. Yeah, tell me about the smells. This one smells better than the first one. That's for sure. I will tell you, it does not taste better than the first one. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's your like, preference? I, it is my preference. Oh, wow. I will say this. And this could be a pro or a con, depending on who you are. Not tasting any uh, of that signature diet cheese in this one. I am not getting that quinoa, but I also don't know what that is. Mm. It's, a, it's like these little ball guys. You probably taste the texture and don't even realize it. I definitely taste a lot of black bean. They didn't skimp on the black bean. Santa Fe burrito, all right, which its highlights include meatless beef style crumbles, brown rice, and potatoes. Oh, potatoes. I've had those before. This one looks the least burrito-y. You know, you go down to Moe's, man, this is what it looks like. Don't go to Moe's. 
Oh, you mean the contents look those yes. burrito? Yes. See, real see to me it looks the most uh, Taco Bell like. This is a little cheese roll up situation. And as you know, Taco Bell, the epitome of Mexican music, Mexican cuisine, makes you feel like you're there. I'm going in. No, this tastes like a pizza. It tastes like a Lunchables pizza. It's one of my least favorite pizzas. Oh man. Because you gotta make it yourself. You're talking about making it yourself. What's, this, what's the prep situation on these bad boys? We follow the instructions to a T. First, you microwave it on high. And you go straight to high, you do it a minute and ten seconds. You're gonna flip that bad boy over mm. and you crank it out for another minute ten. Now, here is the curveball. Here's the test they give you. They don't tell you what power setting for the second minute ten. Ooh, eater's choice. We went super high. All right, and I think it was the right one. Oh, absolutely, you really tasted the Santiago. Oh yeah, you high. could definitely taste that. I felt very high. On every episode, we have a, a very simple rating system: two pieces. We got either are we saying "what up, what up" to them, or are we saying "see ya." You're you're saying I want to say "what up" to, to all these, yeah. like you're hosting a '90s dance show on MTV. The pedestal's in front of you. Absolutely. We're at the we're at the '96 Olympics, all right. I would probably eat all of these again, but Ooh. the gold medal, mm -hmm. number one, easily for Santiago. Oh man, we're going to Applebee's. What's number two though? Number two, man, Tuscan all day, all, all day, day. on that red. And then the Santa Fe, that process that's, of elimination. But that's a second. That's like a close second. Oh, so we're not even here. We're like here. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I think I'm. Um, I'm just. Swapping it right there. I think so I'm going you, to Tuscany first. You flip it like the burrito. You do. Yeah, I'm going minute 10 on Tuscany. Going Santiago. And I'm going Santa Fe, but you know what? If I went to someone's house and they're like, listen, Buzz. We saw it. We saw it. We know you like that Italian Tuscany, all right? That's either Italian or he wants his check. Oh, no. I, you know I want my check when I put all my trash on my plate. We know, we know you like the Tuscany, but all we got is Santa Fe. I wouldn't be mad at that. I'm telling them to crank out that minute 10. But that's going to be it for us at Yo Is This Vegan. We appreciate you joining us. Follow me on Instagram at Real Rainbow. Follow Mike to Taco Bell because I'm sure he's headed there right now. And uh, we will see you next time.